Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? You know, sometimes I take a walk and fall in the snow. Other times I just sit here and drink a beer on my homebrew Wednesday videos. This week is a, a more relaxed setting, if you will. And um, I'm drinking a, um, a uh, Brewer's Best American Cream Ale. Actually, <laughs> I had it poured. Um, I poured it for this video and I had it all good and nice lacing and, well, it's got lacing, but nice head on it. And then um, someone came to the door. <laughs> I had to go answer the door. So we lost a little bit of head. It doesn't have the best head retention, um, but it, I think I just need to carbonate this a little bit more. But the Brewer's Best American Cream Ale is a nice beer. Oddly enough, it's an extract beer, but it's got some sort of um, caramelly, it's, it's very, it's got a caramel taste to it. There must be um, in the um, malt extract, they must have used some, some uh, crystal malt or something. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a nice beer. It's naturally cloudy. This beer does not clear. Whoops, that's <laughs> got Coopers on the glass. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not promoting anybody. I'm just doing what I do. But it is a Cooper's glass. Um, but the uh, so it doesn't it doesn't clear. Um, per, probably if you left it long enough, it would. But uh, n generally, my experience with this particular beer, for some reason, it doesn't. Now I don't know what the secret is, but it's a, it's a cream ale, and it has a nice mouthfeel and a bit of a creamy look to it, so... It's nice. It's a good beer. I like that one. If you're looking for an entry-level um, beer kit um, where you add your own hops to it, um, this is a Brewer's Best American Cream Ale. I don't work for the company. I, got, I know years ago I got accused for working for Cooper's never worked for any of these companies. I just tell you what I'm brewing and what I think of it. And uh, this one doesn't require, there's no grains in this kit. Um, it's just an extract kit um, with hops and it's super easy and it makes a great beer. What more could you want, huh? What more could you want? Okay, so let's get on with what we're doing here today. I've got um, I've got my son playing the piano upstairs. Okay, that's a good thing. At least he's practicing. Got a gift in the mail. Got to watch the. Um, I have this habit of bringing these boxes out and the addresses. Whoops! <laughs> what the hell was that? The addresses are showing, so I have to be careful. So now we're we're good. This is from someone who calls himself Olivier, and he sent me, um, amongst other things, such as his homemade amaretto. He says it's 16%. You can see that. Um, so we'll be trying that in just a moment. He also sent me some sh homemade sherry, which I drank on my cast last Friday and nearly choked to death. <laughs> it wasn't the fault of the sherry. It just went down the wrong hole. And being on camera and knowing I was live, uh, it was very... Um, like, oh my God, what happens if I die right here and now? <laughs> you know, so, so anyway, no, it was very good. The sherry was very nice. So um, he sent me uh, a bunch of grains. Now, these are like pre-measured. We've got some uh, Crystal 15. Uh, here we have some, those aren't labeled, so we don't know what they are. But he, I've got the recipe already written down from, from him. Some chocolate malts and some other chocolate malt, some of different things. These aren't labeled. I, again, I don't have the, the piece of paper in front of me. Um, there's some yeast there, okay? Oh, nope, these are hops, actually. Yes, these are hops. Now, this is for a one-gallon batch, and all I have to do is add my own two-row, my own base malt, um, just for a, a one-gallon batch of, of beer. So I'll do a, a little... Um, uh, 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 like a, a, a my, my mind just went for a went for a crap a mini mash <laughs> a one gallon mini mash uh, or you know whatever it takes for one gallon but 1.7 gallons of water and some grains I am going to give his um, Almoretto Amoretto I always pronounce that wrong 
Let's give this a whirl. Oh, it smells nice. It's one of my favorite liqueurs, Amaretto. Got myself a, a little shot glass here. I just bought this today, actually, at Value Village. I lost my other shot glass. I don't know where it went, but this is a nice... Look at the bottom on that thing. Look at that. It's got the, the three different ounce, ounce and a half, ounce and a quarter measurements on there. And uh, weighs about five pounds, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't, but it's, it's a nice... Uh, robust shot glass and let's take a a gander here I've just been sitting here listening to some some vinyl actually just relaxing and I, I remembered oh shoot I gotta make my homebrew Wednesday video thanks Olivier I will be contacting you okay we're gonna Skype and I'm gonna get make sure I got everything straightened away for to make this beer um, thank you very much for sending that it's awesome and I can't wait to try it. One gallon batches, and they're, they're great. You know, they're easy, and it gives you an opportunity to try something without, you know, doing a big production. So this is his homemade amaretto. Let's give it a whirl. I'll try not to choke this time, Olivier. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice drop. That's a nice drop. This is the kind of thing you can sort of... You could probably just chug this back, but I won't. Mmm. A little bit spicy, nice and sweet. It's got that nice almond, you know, sort of nutty flavor to it. And uh, down the hatch. Very, very nice, that. Very nice. I uh, need to make some of this. <laughs> I need to make some. For sure. So thanks very much to him. And um, I'll be talking to him on Skype or contacting him for that. Um, yes, I need a shave. I'm sorry. I forgot. But uh, it's been a busy night, actually. Um, I, I actually uh, just filmed a homebrew video uh, a couple of nights ago and um, I made a, um, a stout um, from a beer kit and um, I'll show you a, a little sneak preview right now. So we have the, the can of Muntins. It's all going to be done right here and I'm going to explain every detail so that you can get yourself some grains and make better beer. These grains are not crushed yet, all right? I'm going to do that myself in my little crusher here. But when you buy your grains at your local homebrew supplier, you can have them crush them for you, and then you don't have to worry about it. It's a double boiling method. Um, what I've got is a large pot and a small pot. Small pot's inside of the large pot. So we'll put about half of it in. I'm taking my time because I want you guys to see what's all involved with this. All right, so that's coming up on YouTube in the next couple days. And um, nothing really much else is going on. I, I don't have a lot this week. I'm, um, I'm busy catching up on my 17crew.com forum. And... Um, I picked up a Cooper's English Bitter beer kit today, which I'm going to quickly throw down later on, um, just to get something in the pipeline. And, and the um, stout that I made in the video I just showed you, the parts of, you know that's coming up, is actually fermenting right now back there. So um, we got a pipeline going on, and that's as you saw. There was a, a lot of there was actually a mini mash involved with that. It was grains in there, so it's a it's a. Uh, it should be good. I am. I have high hopes for that. Cheers. Oh, he's not playing anything copyrighted. <laughs> no, he's actually getting quite quite good um, at the piano. I uh, I gave him my 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 synthesizer keyboard 
for a while and he's up there um, playing it. He plays it a lot and he's composing his own songs and just having a ball. He loves it. He loves it. He's tried the guitar. He's tried, you know, the um, ukulele, which he still plays on once in a while. He's played the saxophone a little bit. Um, he's tried the trombone. But none of those things really sparked his interest as much as the piano. And, um, well, he takes after his old man, you know. Um, I tried several instruments as well before I switched to piano, and I really enjoyed the piano, so... Um, I have a lot of original music uh, that I've written over the years. A lot of it from back when I was, you know, uh, in my mid-twenties and thirties. And if you want to download those songs, you're more than welcome to do that. CraigFaraway.com is the website, and it's free. There's no catch. You just go and get them. You know, I don't. You don't have to sign up or anything like that. Um, I provide my music for free, and uh, eventually I'll probably. Um, publish a, a CD, which I will put for sale, but um, that will be in con in conjunction with the free downloads, um, because uh, I want people to hear my music. I'm not interested in making uh, a living off of it. I just want it to be heard. That's all. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with that. And uh, I got a couple of new records today, but I'm not very pleased. Well, I am sort of not really. <laughs> it's, um, I picked up um, John Lennon, uh, Yoko Ono, the uh, Double Fantasy record. Um, it was at Value Village. It was seven ninety nine. They had it, you know, in a special uh, cabinet. Um, yes, it's rare, but I wasn't very happy with the. Um, I mean, it's it's not in the best condition. Um, I will play a couple songs from it on my on my broadcast this Friday. Um, I've managed to clean it up a little bit, so it's not too bad. But it's very it's it's not been taken care of very well, unfortunately. So you can see the the cover there. And I also picked up um, this one for my friend Jake from Jake and Dar. Um, when I saw this, I thought of him, and so we're going to be playing a couple songs now. He might not be in my cast this Friday, but. Uh, We'll see him next week, the, the following week, probably. And if so, if he's there, we'll give him a taste of a little bit of Bruce Hornsby, Hornsby from Vinyl. He's a fan of a couple of songs on here, and so am I. So I grabbed that one. That's all I managed to get today from Value Village. Sometimes you get lots, sometimes you get nothing, and sometimes you get in between. There's nothing else here that I've grabbed recently. These are just records that I played last week and I haven't put... I haven't put them away yet, so... Um, I... Um, I don't have anything else to say, really. Um, I'm going to be having a visitor uh, next week. Not, not on Homebrew Wednesday, but next Friday. Not this coming Friday. The following week, on Friday night, I'm going to be having a guest here. And I'm not going to say anything, because... Uh, well, I, I like to leave some things surprise, you know. Um, y you may hear who it is going to be on my Friday night broadcast this week. Somebody you may have um, recognized from the chat room. And uh, he's, a, he's a good friend of mine. So um, we're going to be here. As far as I know, unless something bad happens, we're going to be here the following Friday night after this one casting the, the two of us, and, uh, you know, he's going to be contributing to the cast. I'm going to put the guy to work. He's not just going to sit here and watch me. He's going to, yeah, we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be busy, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I can't wait. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll throw my guitar on his lap and see what happens. Yeah, because he's, an, he's a very talented musician. So that's, that's that. So, um, my broadcast is on vonlive.tv slash craigtube. If you want to check it out this Friday night, please do. Sign in, or don't sign in if you don't want to. Just watch, and, and uh, watch the I don't think you can see the chat room if you're not signed in, but you can at least watch the broadcast. I play great tunes from the 60s and 70s and 80s, and we have a chat on Skype with some people, and it's a great time. 
Um, as I said, I don't have much to uh, you know much else to do here. Some like I said, sometimes I I, I fall in the snow and and mar you know mess around out there, and sometimes I'm just sitting here having a beer. I just you know I'm I'm just relaxed today. I don't have a lot going on. This is an update. Um, I want to thank S.J. Poor for inventing Homebrew Wednesday, and I'm um, I'm out. I, oops, I'm getting an email. Ah, seventeencrew.com, summoning summoning me to go and answer some questions. So if you want to have me answer some of your questions, go to seventeencrew.com. And I'm not the only guy there. There's lots of talented. Home. I think we've got over uh, over 600 people there now um, that are posting in the forums. So if you have a question about home brewing, you have no problem getting an answer from that. You have questions? We've got answers. There you go. The good old Radio Shack thing. Nice beer. Um, guys, you know what? I'm going to end this. I'm, I'm really out of things to say. Um, if that's at all possible. But um, I thank you for watching. I don't want to sit here and waste your time. Um, I did pick up myself a bottle of scotch. I'm not an expert on scotch by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I'll show you the label. It's uh, Grant's. Um, it's a blended scotch. And um, it's cheap. You know, it's not your $75 bottle or whatever. Um, this uh, 750 milliliter bottle was $25. So if that's it's cheap for me, it might not be cheap for some other people who get it cheaper than that. And I'm just going to have, whoops, well, there's an ounce there, just about. And in honor of Homebrew Wednesday, and all you guys who do your Homebrew Wednesday videos and who watch my Homebrew Wednesday videos, I bid you good morning, good night, and good evening, and cheers, and 17 as well. That means cheers. Take care, guys. I hope to see you Friday, okay? Might be a little more exciting on Friday than it is right now, because I'm just chilling. Take care. Be safe.